All right, so walking through Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, walking to the KL Tower. You can see it there. Yeah, very lush, green, beautiful looking place. That's colonial building over there. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna go this way, and apparently inside here is a place called the Eco Park, where you can trek a little bit, and it's kind of a jungle in the city. So that's good. Let's check that out. I need it's bloody hot, so I need to get into the shade here a bit. But I'm exploring, getting to know Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia. And so far, so far what I've seen, it's very, very busy. Tons of restaurants, bars, loads of foreigners from all over the world, and lovely, friendly people, local people. So, all good. Let's catch up on the next step. It's quite a, it's quite a walk up. Very steep road. Very cool though, very beautiful. Look at that tower. Very nice rooftop gardens over there. And here we have the big, oh, and the sun shining. It's baking, 35 degrees or so, if not more. Anyway, here we are, soon I'm at the top. Let's see what nature's got to offer for us. Yes, very, very cool. Looking forward to getting, getting there and seeing what it's all about. Well, I'm here, this looks very promising. But unfortunately, you got to pay as cash only. And I didn't think about taking cash. So I've got to return and come back. Go get some cash, we'll come back tomorrow. One of the two. Anyway, look, beautiful sight here. That's very, very cool. So that's the KL Tower. And on the inside, there's a huge line of people to go upstairs, up to the top. So that's something you have to do in the morning, I think. It's now like three, four in the afternoon on Sunday, so it's not the best time to do that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Very impressive tower. Beautiful lush gardens. I couldn't get in because I don't have any, any damn cash on me, but that's okay. Whew, we'll go back tomorrow. For now, I'll just walk around a bit more in this lush neighborhood and see what else I can find that's of interest because there's a lot, an awful lot going on here. And as you can see, lots of greenery, kind of there's monkeys and all kinds of other wildlife animals in here which I look forward to seeing so yes here I am right about Cambodia in Malaysia but why not I'll be back soon into Cambodia because I love Cambodia Malaysia's beautiful too amazing anyway let's carry on our little journey all right so we're walking back sorry I've got to jump down here Oh, came across this Herbalife healthy community outstanding products really top brand as many business opportunities well all of this stuff is supplements made by soy see soy protein drink soy 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 and soy beans are one of the most unhealthy things in the world it's also full of sugar and not healthy at all and you can't make money on that it's a pyramid scam Pyramid scheme, the only people that make money are the founders. Turn left for Jankit Raja Chulin. Don't fall for that one. Don't do it. I know a few people who have. So, anyway, there we go. Back down from the tower. Walking along. Isn't it beautiful? It's so nice and green, lush. There's a lovely old colonial building over there. I'm not quite sure what it is. It seems to be some sort of a restaurant, but I can't go there now because I'm heading that way, left. Alrighty. 
we will see. All right, so there's Havana. It's like a very interesting uh, Cuban style theme bar. This is the rabbit hole. Tapas, cocktails, and they got they got uh, coffee and breakfast and brunch and all that. Very nice looking place. So this is the basically the Chicho, the pub street, the pub street, the party scene. Look, they got a pool in there too. Difficult to see through here, but it's very very nice. Yeah. I'm gonna come here tomorrow for coffee. So yeah, all this place at night is absolutely ram packed. It's full of party goers almost every night I hear. I was here fr Friday night. I didn't go in here last night, but I was close by and I could hear the noise. So yeah, it's just Spanish tapas bar. It's just crazy how full it gets. So, so many people here. Um, yeah, you've got everything. Over here you've got an English, British, British uh, restaurant called, what's it called? Uh, I forget, oh yeah. Gravy Baby, Gravy Baby. Famous for cocktails and pies, local bar and restaurant. So, so you got everything. You know, this place is always packed. Packed full of expats. It's very cool looking. It's a very cool looking uh, restaurant, cafe, bar, isn't it? Where it's done up with the, with the lights, the white lights. Like bar after bar after bar. Cool, but I mean again, now it's uh, it's around 5 p.m. or 4:30. I'm not quite sure, and it's relatively empty. So that's going to change very soon. Sorry, guys. Oh. Yeah, it's going to change very soon. It's going to be full. Come six, come. Uh, it gets here dark about seven, seven thirty. Then it's going to be heaving again. So let's carry on. Irish pub. Lots of popular Irish pubs here. Another one over there. Hello. Hello. Happy hour. Yeah, have a look. Yeah, you got happy hour? Yeah, we have happy hour. Okay, so what's that? Uh, one pint only 2500 ml. Okay, cool. Thank you. And so, what, what time? What time happy hour finish? Okay, thank you. Bye -bye. Yeah, so you're happy out from now ready until three in the morning. So this is the Corkman Irish bar restaurant. So they got Irish food. It's all men. I mean, it's, it's, there are people. In, there are people in the restaurants already. But it's all men sitting on the bar stools and the tables drinking beer. So not really my scene. So yeah. So we'll walk through the Puff Street here. It's a beautiful hotel called Stay at the uh, book with Bintang. So that we stay with Star. Bintang is Star in Malaysian. Here's another Pacific pub. Alrighty. <laughs> 